So in our last video, we made a very basic uh, tree dodging game where the car can move up and down and the trees came from right to left and tried to crash into the car. So let's try to make this look a little bit better. So you, if you notice over here in my project, I have a car PNG. So if I double click on that, I see what the car looks like. It's a pretty basic car. And I have a tree.png file. And again, it's just a pretty basic tree. So let's go ahead and implement those. So I'm going to take out these two lines about my image, and instead of making it a surface, I'm going to use the command pygame.image.load, and then I'm going to load my image. And this is my car, so I'm going to load car.png. And again, you have to include the .png, um, or this may not work. And you should have your files within the same directory as your Python files. If you don't, you have to put the path to them uh, in your load method. Okay, so all I did is I changed that one line and let's see if that affects our car image. And you can see now I'm pressing the arrows, the car moves up and down, I still have the green squares coming, I'm dodging pretty, f now let's go ahead and crash, so I, I crash and my program ends. Well, let's go ahead and add an image for the tree. And it's, as you would expect, the exact same way. So I'll delete the fill line, and I'll do the pygame image to pygame.image.load. And this time, I'll add my tree.png file. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Well, now I've got cars, I've got trees. And you can see, just by changing two lines, my game already looks so much better. All right, well we have one more thing to add and that's some sound. Um, it would be nice to have some background sound like some car racing noises, but just to make things easy I'm going to add a crash sound for when the car crashes into the tree. Uh, so I'm going to make a variable up here in my, again I'm in my main file here, my main program, and I'm going to call it crash sound equals pygame.mixer.sound with a capital S and I'm going to do a car crash dot wav file and you can see that's the sound file I have here and I found that wav files or wav files work best in pygame uh, there are ways to do things like mp3s but I haven't had the best of luck with that so I'm going to stick with waves and it's very easy to convert from one file to another there's plenty of sites uh, that will do that for you so that's how I load my sound, is I just um, load it into this pygame.mixer.sound method. Okay, so now that we've loaded our crash sound, let's go ahead and go down to our collide method, and let's play it when uh, our car crashes into a tree. So I'm going to write the name of the sound, and I'm going to call the method play. And that should be it, so let's go ahead and run our game now. I have some trees coming at me. I'll dodge. Again, notice the car can only move. Well, that was that was pretty dramatic. So that's a pretty loud sound. I might want to turn that down just a little bit. Let's try this again. I'll, like, I'll go ahead. And... That's it. That was a little bit more manageable. So now I've got. Uh, a way to add sound to my file. So I, by changing just a few lines we made our program go from a couple of red and green squares and no sound to some relatively more realistic cars, trees, and crashing sounds. And I think you can see that you can, if you use your imagination, you can add your own graphics files, create your own sounds, and make a pretty interesting game. So I hope you take this information and make a fantastic game of your own.